Hey, you're back! Lord knows I am. Probably be it for me on this episode today, anyways. Not that you know that, I am a man who doesn't upload every single video. It's First of all, it's not live, that would be streaming, which I don't really do. Don't have the time, and it's not like I'm making money off of these, so... Ow! Ah! Pulled my shoulder. Scratch in the back of my head. Mmm. Pulled the muscle. Yep, yep, that's sore. Working out earlier today. You know, nothing serious, just getting them sick gains, bro. It was mostly curls. Which, if you don't know, it means I took a heavy bar with a bunch of uh, weights on it and lifted it up from my waist to my shoulders a bunch of times. Just curled my arms up to them. It's good, good solid workout. That was the really only shoulder work I did. The rest of it was shit like sit-ups. Uh... I'm trying to think what else I do. I did sit up I don't know if push-ups count as shoulder work is the problem. I guess they do. They're more forearm, though. Eh, well, whatever. Uh, point is, I worked out. And I'm sore now. Again, pull the muscle fucking scratching my neck. God damn. Preparations have completion! Oh, great Cacletta, unleash the voice of Princess Peach when the, on the Bean Star when you are wanting to. <laughs> the moment when all the world will bow down to me has come at last. Shit, we gotta get in there. Ooh, stuff. Can't can't forget the stuff. I never forgive myself if I left the Who Bean behind. And all those scientists I murdered. Can't forget them. Let's just not mourn them at all. The main lab. All right. We're here, bitch. Oh no, we're too late, I guess. Peach bots, speak. Ho 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 ho. Oh no. You've angered the Bean Star. The Bean Star mocks you. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? What is this? I have fright! A situation we had not suspected has begun to develop. May we flee? Ah! Pests, loathsome pests, and at the worst possible moment, we don't have time to deal with you fools. Fuck you. I learned how to smash with my hammers. Oof. Ha! Well, won't this be fun? Oh, yes. If that's how it is, I'm ready for you. I'm going to knock you all the way back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, shit. So, yeah, we're fighting Cackletta. For reals and shit. This isn't some rigged supposed to lose fight, either. This is a for reals fight. Which one is the real me? Do you idiots know? I actually have no idea. I cannot tell them apart. If there's a way to tell them apart, let me know. I genuinely do not know. I have nothing. I have no advice for this. I don't think any of them are different. Sometimes I'm like, oh, it's the way they bob their heads, but they're all in sync and they stop bobbing. They bob their heads differently when you, like, hit them and shit. I genuinely have no idea which one is the real one. And as far as I know, there isn't a way to tell. It wasn't that one. There's no way to tell until after you hit her, you see. At which point, bats. Which you should have gotten practice in. That's the thing, all of the uh, attacks she can pull, you should have practiced at this point. Hey, that was the real one. And now she did it again. She's very fond of doing that. Hmm, nice. Because when she does that, you can fucking get her with your hammer bro moves. Well, not great, but you know. Wah! Forgot about that move. Lightning. Oops, no, we want Chopper Bros. Get to the chopper! Tons of damage. And you may be thinking, 12's not a whole lot for that move. Well, I'll let you know, the advanced move of that, holy shit, that does a ton of damage. Like, more than anyone else, potentially. Nice.
just wail on her. She talks to you when she's low on health, so... I like that she's not doing the duplicator move. The lightning's easy to dodge. And those are her only two attacks. There's no countering her. Purely a series of dodges. And hoping you can do enough damage to her. And guessing the mimics! No countering the boss. Really hot to trot on the lightning. And it's super easy to avoid. It's always two. It's always the first one is whichever brother she gestures at first. And if she doesn't both at the same time, jump at the same time. Great music, though, gotta say. We are unloading on this whore. I don't think I've fucked up a bros attack once. I think the only damage I've taken... All right, there. Uh, why I should go first. I think he does more damage. And Luigi... Have a nut. Those only do 20 damage. Or 20 health restored. So yeah, this was a uh, apparently a short playthrough. Already fighting the final boss. She's gotta be. How much health does this bitch have? Cannot seriously have much left. There, uh, nope. She's doing the duplicate thing again. Shit. Ugh. All right. Uh, shouldn't use bros attacks when you don't know who the real one is. See? That would have been embarrassing if I picked her. Ooh. Nope. Nope. And she does it again! It's very annoying. Ugh. <sighs> there we go, slippery bastard. There we go. Tenacious little boys, aren't you? I'm too busy for such games. Time for this to end. So there's that horrifying image. She does not change this ever again, by the way. She stays like this for the rest of the fight. And the holes are the only attack she does. Don't fall in the holes. They're bad for you. Bad for the health. Excellent. Delicious, delicious syrup. Maybe you can actually go again. Excellent. Thought I was gonna fall in that hole for a brief moment. I did fall in that one. Yeah, that's that's your penalty for falling in the hole. Not me! I wanted to give the syrup to Luigi. It's really... Uh, your weight changes when you've got the that thing on you, and it's ridiculous. I think... Wait, what did... Ah, uh, it's better cure it. I think I might have needed the pepper. I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Don't know what the peppers do. What do the peppers do? I never really use the peppers. Uh, boosts power and yeah, they boost weight, and that's the problem. I the weight is tricky. I'm not sure how the weight works. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it, Luigi. Well, whatever. Don't need you for this. There we go. 
<laughs> ha! Somebody fetch me a new final boss, because this bitch is out. K-O'd. Code. Cod? Code. K-O. Knocked out. That's what it stands for. Anyways, uh, I'm rambling. But then don't I always. Nice! Get that speed up, soldier. Damn, son, two level ups, Mario. Mm. Stick that pepperoni in your sausage and deal with it. God, I am a master wordsmith. So good at improv. <laughs> How could this happen? Cacletta, do not have worries! Watch! I am sucking up your energy with this headgear! Well, he did. Can't say he didn't. Oh, 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 Fawful. Give them one final attack for me. I say to you, yes! Oh, Peshaw. Ha! That'll teach you to not be handsome, like Prince Peasley. Now, quickly, to the fallen Beanstar! What? The Beanstar heard the Princess Peach's voice and went mad? But why would Princess Peach's voice drive the Beanstar mad? I sense a surprising secret at the center of this riddle. I shall explain it all in detail once we have safely recovered the Beanstar that has fallen below. You two must go to the bottom floor immediately. Ha 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 ha. Tootaloo! I'm so dashing. Anything up here of note? Not that I'm seeing. So yeah, alright, we've beaten the boss, but uh, it makes sense we need to get Princess Peach's voice back. That's fair. One last little wrap-up. I'm sure this save is purely for appearances. Not, you know, critically important or anything. <laughs> yes. No, sir. So what lies in the basement here? Hmm. It appears tundra. Why tundra? Refrigerated section, perhaps? I think that's a red herring. You don't actually need that pipe. Yeah, you can't even use the pipe. You gotta get up here. I was to trick you into thinking you needed that pipe. Oh, let's fight somebody. With our newfound strength after beating a boss. Gotcha. Oh, bang. Gotcha. Oh, and it's done. God, I'm so great. And there's Mario's level up. Ha! Falling behind, eh, Mario? Must feel horribly embarrassing. Would you get to 30, for God's sakes? Thank you. Swear on me, Mum. 29, indeed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Charles Martin, eh? He's distraught. The viruses are eating him. That's a sentence. Bang! And we're done. Stick a fork in him there, done, boys. And whatever this is, super mushroom. Okay. We need to fix this over here. Yeah. Alrighty. Much like back in the lab, we gotta fix the electrical current. Try and line it up. Oh, wow. Unlike that, try and line it up. Gotta make sure Luigi can actually use his hammer. We now have four shots of this. Basically, they can go past as many times as you want. But if you fuck up four times, it resets. So don't go chasing waterfalls on this one, boys. You also can't skip ahead to the final one for the slightly easier little rodent. Damn. There we go. Got it. God, I'm so talented. I timed it so I don't even have any excess water. Hmm. Aren't I just the greatest? Worship me at my feet. Uh, okay, oh, hey, I think. 
Clearly, this is more important than getting that bean star. God damn it. Thanks for the bean. What? Oh, no. Yes, bean star suddenly came falling down out of nowhere. It was shocking, see? But having treasure fall out of the sky sure is lucky. Yeah, that's right. Very lucky. Only Popple the Shadow Thief could get such results, see? You're amazing, boss! Rookie. Yes, boss! Uh, unless my eyes are screwy. Look there. It's red and green from the chateau. Hi, it's us. Well, boo. Boo to you, I say. Why does this always happen? This isn't funny, see? Rookie. Yes, boss. These two numbskulls seem to like the old ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Time to scrap again, see? You cannot tell me that is not his voice. Yes, boss. All right. Respectful bow. And so, let's give him the old ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Shit. Forget who he's... Ah, uh, damn it, he stole a mushroom. That's gonna be a pain. I'll be taking that, Shane. Yeah, all right. Bonk. All right, same deal as before. Even though the Nintendo strategy guide says Popple won't run away this time, I beg to differ. Beat the shit out of Rookie. Not only does it say it won't work this time, it mentions that because Popple will steal from you, he should be the target of your assault. So it deliberately feeds you misinformation. I wonder if this guy... I wonder if he, you know, knows anyone we do. He sure, he sure seems to remember us. Master Popple! You two guys are tougher than I thought. And I guess we got no choice, see? Use that technique. This is a confusing technique where he fucking pile dri Oh shit. Pile drived uh, Popple. Did, did you see that? Ha! <laughs> that was a bros attack. Yep, they got bros attacks too. Danger of fighting two people at once. Especially bosses. Fucking Popple. Hit me! Oh shit. Who's he throwing him at? Eh, bink. <laughs> Dumbass. Hell of a strategy. I'll just light myself on fire and let you huck me at them. Bonk. Do it again, Shane! Well, Luigi caught the bad end of that. But we got this. No way we don't. Whoops. Alrighty. Give him the old one-two ring-a-ding-ding, as they say. Uh-oh, that wasn't working. Come on, give him the ring-a-ding-ding. Damn it, they're giving me the ring-a-ding-ding! Ow! Like, this can't be healthy for Popple, right? He gets lit on fire and smacked into the ground. There we go. Whoa, I got heartburn. Explode! Ah, rookie! Ow. Gah, boo, I say. I'll remember this. Later, Scoobies. See? Fuck you, Nintendo Official Strategy Guide. Lying to me like that as a child. I believed them, too. Ho, ho, ho. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ah, crap. Ah, tea and biscuits. No, a treasure, it's gonna fly away, see? Mario, Luigi, stop that! Smooth-talking son of a bitch. And his much larger, less smooth-talking, equally bitch friend. Yeah, that's right. Fall off, you bastards. Oh, no! Not you bastards! Let go, you bastard. I remember, I remember. I am. I am. Nah, I'm not gonna end the episode here, that would be rude. Bowser the King! Oh shit! 
Damn it, that guy was Bowser the whole time. I did unhur- Ah, who could have seen that coming? Not I. East Bee Bean. Oh ho, Oasis. Ah, the Oasis. I remember the Oasis. Fondly. Mario. That's sort of how that speech bubble should work, I suppose. Wah! The Mias are mumming. And he made it out. With style. Alright. Yeah, we get it. Oh ho oasis. Alright! Thank you so much for watching. I've been Tunkle and I talk to our go shows, see you around Ask Crowns, and we come back to be exploring these areas. What what wonders await us in here? We'll find out, won't we?